Hey guys, we made it to Chicago. Um, Green Bay was my first commercial flight ever, and uh, it was it was pretty cool. I can't I I, I can't deny it. Um, I thought the turbulence was gonna scare me. I thought going over Lake Michigan um, to come in for the landing was gonna scare me, but it didn't surprisingly enough, um, and it was actually a lot of fun. So we're here in Chicago now, and we're waiting for our next flight. Uh, we've got a four hour layover, <laughs> and then we'll be boarding a plane to head to London, and two have another- Two hour layover there. Yeah, two hour layover there. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to kinda let you know where we're at, and let you know that it's actually kinda fun. I thought it was gonna be boring sitting in the airport, but I'm actually, kind of enjoying it so we got all kinds of snacks and goodies and met some pretty uh nice people so far and yeah so I'm pretty cool so we'll check in later hey guys we made it to London um it was quite the exhausting trip very very long and uh not exactly the most comfortable, but we had the premium economy seats, which was nice because there was a lot more uh, foot room and just room in general. Um, everybody was great, though. People were super, super nice. And now we're at London Heathrow. We're waiting for our gate to show up to find out which, um, which gate we depart from to head to Edinburgh. And... Um, it was actually quite interesting when we got here. Um, this uh, airport is very, very spread out considered or, or compared to uh, O'Hare. Um, we had to hop on a, a little bus and um, go through tunnels and all kinds of stuff to get to our next term terminal, um, which was really interesting, kind of cool. It's like Chicago, just no trains. Yeah, but it was, it was pretty neat. But yeah, um, so we're in London now, and waiting for our next flight to Edinburgh, so we'll update once we get there. Bye. Bye. Morning, guys. Today is Tuesday, March 26th, and we are getting ready to head out again for some more adventures. Um, yesterday, we uh, got in kind of late in the afternoon, um, or at least what was afternoon here, um, and decided to kind of take it easy for the day. Um, we went and kind of explored a little bit of the city center. Um, we went down to Princess Street and went to the Princess Street Gardens, um, checked out that area, walked up to the Scots Monument for a little bit, and we'll show you some pictures of that. Um, and then today, um, we are planning on heading to Edinburgh Zoo. Um, and then after Edinburgh Zoo, I believe we are planning on heading to um, Grass Market. Um, we want to go hit Victoria Street. Um, he wants to see some of the Harry Potter shops. It's important. Um, Very important. <laughs> um, and then after Victoria Street, um, we are going to check out uh, Colton Hill and the monument up there. Um, and then after that, I believe we're heading to the Botanical Gardens. Oh, I thought it was Bacteria Gardens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Botanical Gardens. And then um, we're going to try to check out uh, Dean Village um, and then make our way back to the hotel here. Uh, we are staying at the Murrayfield Inn, or the Murrayfield Hotel, sorry. Um, it's been fantastic here. Um, it's a cute little little room, um, but it's comfortable and it's cozy, and that's some of the artwork behind us, which is kind of cool because there's some historic stuff within the, in the building itself. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of our plan for the day. Um, we're going to show you some pictures and, and we'll do a follow-up at the end of the day and let you know how things went.
Hey guys, um, so unfortunately the update that we did for um, days one and two, um, especially day two, um, unfortunately the file was corrupt. So we decided to do a quick new video to explain to you what happened. Um, we weren't able to go to the botanical gardens and we weren't able to go to Dean Village. Um, we were going to try to do it again on the third day, but that didn't happen either, and I will explain that in the next video. <laughs> um, but we just wanted to give you an update as to what happened. Um, it was super, super cold out, um, so when we went and visited Victoria Street, um, we ended up having to stop and buy some, um, hats, uh, because it was colder, way colder than we were expecting. And uh, we kind of made a little joke about it being yeah, it was a damp cold. A damp cold. <laughs> um, anyways, so we got the hats, and then um, after touring Victoria Street, we decided to try to go up to the castle to see if we could get tickets um, for the next day um, because we were having problems with the website. So we figured, well, we'll just we're already practically there. We may as well just go up there and see if we can get tickets. So. We did that, um, so there are some uh, pictures of um, us kind of around the castle area, um, not completely, um, the bagpiper picture and um, the picture of the hub that is up by the castle, and of course the esplanade with the castle itself in the background that's from the castle as well. So, um, but we didn't explore the Royal Isle or anything yet. Um, that was just all a part of just getting the tickets. Like I said, we were in the area, I figured we may as well get it. And then we walked back and stopped at, um, St. Cuthbert's to check out the cemetery there. Um, and the cool thing is while we were there, um, we found a Campbell headstone. And upon further inspection, I noticed that it was for a particular family member of Bill's. Um, there was a very big emotional um, connection there for me anyways. I bawled like a baby. <laughs> he wasn't really affected all, all by it all that much. He thought it was cool though, but um, it just felt like kind of a divine intervention. We just happened to go into the cemetery based on um, based on a, a, a recommendation by one of the waitresses here at the restaurant within the hotel and um, just stumbled upon this gravestone. We had no idea that they were even buried here. So it was it was really neat. It was really emotional for me. Um, oh, excuse me. But it was a long day, lots of walking. We put in over nine miles of walking alone. Um, but that was that was pretty much it. So um, we hope you enjoyed the pictures, and uh, we will update as soon as we can with the next couple of days. Give you more tomorrow. Bye.